A CSIS spokesman says on background the group has agreed to a DOD request to say nothing about the study on the current and future posture of Pacific U.S. forces beyond a press release CSIS issued this week. And that includes the key question of how long the study will take. Lawmakers on both sides of Capitol Hill, including Guam's Madeleine Bordaglio, have expressed frustration at how long it's taken the Pentagon to start the study. Bordaglio responded in a written statement that she's hopeful CSIS will conduct a balanced review of U.S. military posture and get input from all stakeholders, including local leaders. But she also notes the study is just one of five criteria that must be met under the Fiscal 12 National Defense Authorization Act before more funds can be spent on the buildup. The timing issue has become more sensitive based on difficult local economic conditions. But the good news is the study's finally starting and will be directed by CSIS's head of international security, David Berto, and Michael Green, senior advisor and Japan chair. Meantime, the first detachment of 200 U.S. Marines has arrived in northern Australia, where a permanent joint training hub is taking shape. That is part of a U.S. shift of military strength in the Asia-Pacific region. The two nations announced plans in November for the rotation of up to 2,500 Marines through the northern city of Darwin. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.